What did you see when you went outside? So when I was coming out of the meeting at CEA, um, I heard two young men, uh, someone was walking past and they said that the police had stopped someone and they thought that they were doing a drug transaction or something like that. And so when I walked down the steps, I saw um, Mr. Henderson and the gentleman from the courier standing up. And so I thought, and I saw the police officer, I thought maybe they were talking to him about this drug transaction. So as I get closer to them, I see that they are both handcuffed. And so I asked the officer, you know, like, what's going on and why are they handcuffed? Like, they just literally just left our community meeting. And, you know, and so he said to me, don't come any closer. You know, um, you're, you're um, obstructing um, my, my job or you're, you're, you're obstructing me of doing my duty. So I walked across the street and stood across the street and asked this question again. What did they do that they are in handcuffs and being arrested? They just left the community meeting. At that time, he um, was sitting um, the gentleman from the courier, helping him, sitting him down on the ground. Then he was uh, about to sit Mr. Henderson down, and Mr. Henderson was asking him to wait. I don't know why he was asking him to wait. He was just saying, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. And the officer said, either you're going to sit down or I'm going to help you sit down. And then literally after he said, I'm going to help you, he just swept his feet from underneath him and slammed them down to the ground. And that's when I um, had asked, uh, I think Mr. Moses may have been coming out of the building at that time, asked him to go back in and get Rashad and everyone else in the building. And that's when Rashad and Mr. Moses came down. And Rashad started asking the same questions that I asked, and the officer pulled his mace out and wanted to mace Rashad. And then um, I said we should get everybody else out of the meeting. And then the officer started getting aggressive with Rashad, like pushing him back, telling him to get across the street, pushing him back across the street. And um, the gentleman from the courier was just pleading with Rashad not to make things worse by, like, just have to do what he says. And then I went in, got the rest of the people out of the meeting, we came out, and then that's when the other officers were, were coming. Yeah. But during that time, when I was asking what was going on, he um, got on the radio and was asking for backup, saying that you know there was a crowd of people and, and um, he needed backup. Um, at that time, it was myself. I think Rashad was, was coming. Um, out of the building, and there was one gentleman uh, or two or so up in the parking lot of the Y of the YMCA. So there was literally like six people out there at that time. So he called for backup before the majority, majority. of the people came out of the building. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. He called before I went in and got the majority of the people. Yeah, because when I asked for them to come out, only Rashad and Mr. Moses came out and no one else. And mm -hmm. when all the other stuff, like him pushing Rashad and all that, and then I went in to get the rest of the people and asked them to come out, but that was after he called for backup. Okay.